Hi, and welcome to Makeup Mugwump. My name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me. Welcome. I have a super exciting video for you tonight because in today's mail arrived a collection that I found out about, ordered immediately, and I am so excited to use with you for the first time. So uh, we're going to do a get ready with me and uh, I'll do a haul real quick. First up to show you the items and swatch them and then we're going to use the, them tonight. I'm so sorry. She's insane. So first things first, Ciate London has done a Miss Piggy collaboration. I ordered the bundle and the mirror. They, they came separately. Uh, they're sold separately. This is the Who Moi mirror. It is, um, oh my gosh, the, the mirror. The mirror is a little, it's, I say little, it's, it's a hand mirror that is, sorry, plastic, very well packaged. <laughs> okay, so hand mirror, pretty well sized, it says Ciate on the back. There she is, the queen of all. And then on the handle, it is, uh, it says Miss Piggy. And it's, it's beautiful. It's a square. It's, be it's, you need this. Any, you need this. <laughs> I needed this. This is amazing. I will be using this hand mirror tonight to get ready. <laughs> so excited that it could not be more me could it no so next is the I, i'm already taking the plastic off of the front to show you this is the very important pig collection this, this includes geez this is not super tight in there hold on i'll try let's try not to hurt anything again it wouldn't be a video with makeup my womp if i didn't have a poltergeist throwing things around okay so we've got all about moi cream face palette we have Love Moi Lip Balm, and then we have Piggy Perfection Blending Sponge. Y'all are going to die. Okay, let's first take a look at the sponge. There she is. Um, it's got, you know, it's Piggy Perfector on there, and everything is taped and all that really well, and here we are. But I want to show you the cutest thing about this sponge. Um, it is a normal, you know, blending sponge that you dampen and it's got a flat edge, you know, very similarly shaped to many sponges. So it's got a flat angled edge, rounded, but then on the bottom it's it's cut flat. Be because it's because it's a pig nose. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Like that is, that is the cutest thing I have ever seen. And if you don't like this, if this is not for you, this is not the channel for you. <laughs> you have not come to the right place on the internet. Keep on scrolling, keep on moving. Cause this is the channel that this kind of stuff makes our whole day. Like this is it right there. Why, why would I not? And by the way, the, I don't know who she is, but the lady who made the video for Ciate and she was talking about it, she's like, the little, the little wells pick up more pride. I'm like, ain't nobody using this to, to, to be a makeup sponge for real. Like, they're like, this is, this is an effective design. It's a pig nose. It's because it's freaking adorable and you love Miss Piggy. That's why, that's the only reason why somebody would buy this. This is not like, this is the best sponge because they have these little wells. No, they're pig nostrils. That's why you buy this. That's the Piggy Perfector. Next up, let's look at, look at her, she's so cute. 
wait, hang on, there okay. She is, this is, <laughs> this is the Miss Piggy Love Moi lip balm. Okay. Oh, there's a little paper in there. I don't need to read you about lip balm. Okay. So, uh, a matte blush pink packaging. It has Miss Piggy embossed on it. Um, and, oh, it says, hmm, hmm. How do we, is that right side? I, it says who, moi, on it. All right, here it is. Here's the lip balm. Is there, oh my gosh, it has words on it. Hold on. It says, I believe in moi. All the way around it. See, you can stop. That is so cute. Oh, it smells, it's, there is a smell. Is it magnetic? Oh, it is, it is, it is. We'll use that. And then last, but certainly not least in this bundle is the Cream Face Palette. This is all about moi. Cream Face Palette. It is made in China. Ooh. It is made in China. No. Content made in Italy, filled in China. Here's the here's the actual packaging. Whoa. Whoa. There she is. There she is. On the back, the shade names and Yep. Oh my gosh. So the it the clasp is not it's it's a plastic package with a kind of a resin, you know, clear lid with the the photo of her face. Okay. There is a full-size mirror in a lid. Really good quality. All right. And then we have the four cream cheek products. They are Flaunt It, Fabulous, Oh Kermy, and Diva. So let's swatch these up real quick and let's see how they look and then we'll try, you know, we'll try it on our face. Okay, that is, that's the cream. <laughs> it's the cream. Okay. These don't seem to be as pigmented as I thought. Pig minute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's the last one, I promise. Okay. Yep. Those are not super dark. I'm going to go one more time. I know that this is a, a, a blush swatch, but I want to be able to see the color better than this. So we'll do one more time. There we go. Okay. So it, I don't know if I have any shimmers. Let me see. Let me see. Mm, okay, for sure, this one, this one, and this one look shimmery. The the orangey doesn't doesn't look shimmery, and it is it is by far the most pigmented one. The most pigmented one. Uh, the this one here that that one does not appear to have shimmer. The lightest one does have a lot of, sh it's like a gold shimmer. So think, you know, pink with a gold shimmer, you know, Nars Orgasm kind of thing. So there, there it is. There is the All About Moi Cream Face Palette. There are the swatches. I think this would work for a fair girl. I don't think it's gonna work for medium or deep. Now I could be wrong if these build up beautifully. We will, we will find, we'll look on my skin. This is a lot of packaging too. I don't love that. Not a fan of that. It's, it's actually, I'll, I'll be fair, this is a pretty sturdy box. Like, and I say that because if you are like me, these types of, of boxes that are kind of sturdy and are also cute, you know, that, what do I mean about colored or patterns or whatever, they work really well in your Alex Nine drawers for organization. So this will be one, I'm not gonna recycle it yet, I will probably one day, but I will actually use this to organize something you know, stand up foundations or primers or something in my Alex nine drawer so that they don't fall over and things like that. I would save this 
and work on using that. I'll set that there. Okay, let's see if Mr. Mugwump can do us a favor. Mr. Mugwump! Would you be willing to write a sponge for me? All right, let's wipe off those swatches. Yep, yeah, come off clean, no staining, that's great. Um, I don't necessarily want something to stain my cheeks, but I am a little bit, I'm a little bit disappointed in the, my car, so far, I'm a little bit disappointed in the, in the pigmentation of the palette. Okay, so let's do a quick face. I've got some uh, moisturizer and some primer on, and we'll do just a really, really quick face to go along with our products. And we'll use the balm, and we'll use the sponge, and we'll, thank you, sir. We'll use the sponge. So let's start there. I'm gonna, so I, okay. I don't know how many weeks ago I did this. I did an entire foundation collection video where I pulled out every single foundation that I owned and I showed it and I told you what, what color I had, like every single one that I owned. This was one that I pulled out that I'm like, I haven't used that in forever. So here I am. I'm going to try to use <laughs> to see if I still like it. The Estee Lauder Double Wear Maximum Cover Camouflage Makeup in 1N3 Creamy Vanilla. Uh, I've put it on my very expensive makeup palette from Bath & Body Works, the lid of a candle. And uh, we're going to use, I can't put, I can't put makeup on the bottom. I just can't do it. So we're going to use, we're going to use the side of it. Excuse me. Let me get my mirror. And we're going to, we're going to start with uh, the, the most crazy coverage ever that may not match me in color. But here we are. It's really dark. I'm never going to look normal wearing a foundation. This, obviously, I think this must have been a mixer because there's no way I ever looked green. This looks insane. Okay, so we're going to not use this. Hold on. Let's pretend like this never happened. Welcome back to my channel where I can mix a foundation to look somewhat my color, maybe still a little dark. We tried, y'all. Okay, we tried. That's all right. But I'll tell you, this sponge is really nice. It has the, I mean, it's it's super, it's pretty squishy. It, 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 uh, it, um, not doubled in size. Probably, I don't know, three-quartered in size. Not too, it's not too bad. Um, it didn't get to be super huge, like my Sonya Kashuk, which I love. But it's also not, it, it, it's not rock hard. It did grow a bit, which is nice to make it a little bit quicker to fill in my giant cheeks of blankness. Okay, I am not going to say that I am shade matched because I am not, but it's better than it was, right? Like, let's just go with it's better than it was, which in 2020 is saying a lot because it's gotten really dark. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So anyway, I have not been able to get the eyeshadow palette. I will. And uh, I just, I don't have it. And I wish I did, but I don't. I don't think I'm going to do, should I do concealer? I should. Let's use the, the Dose of Colors Meet Your Hue. This is in 08 Light. I got it in, it was my choice of my BoxyCharm this month. And I have been liking it. Uh, we'll, we'll put this on with the pig, with the pig blender. Oh, what a terrible phrase that is. Um, I have always loved Miss Piggy. I've always loved the Muppets. I grew up uh, as a child uh, loving the Muppets. My stepmother is a, an amazing Muppets fan. I remember in our laundry room, there was a poster of Kermit the Frog riding his bicycle which I always used to adore that poster. It is probably one of the funniest images um, in my brain. I love it so much. And uh, I've always loved the humor of the Muppets. I've always loved the songs of the Muppets. My favorite Christmas album is John Denver and the Muppets Christmas. I know every word, all the things. 
and it brings me such joy to listen to that every single holiday season or on a rainy Tuesday in the summer because I'm depressed, whichever, whichever. So I, I love the Muppets so much. I think they're funny. I think they're charming. Um, what, who's your favorite Muppet? Who, who is your favorite Muppet? That I need to know. I have a cousin who claims that once she knows your favorite Muppet, she's like got you on lock. She knows exactly what, who you are and what you're doing with your life. <laughs> she's pretty amazing too, but that's a thing in my family. Okay, so I have my foundation times 15 on here, hair. Um, I do want to use the cream blushes um, before, obviously, I put on powder. I want to give them every shot that I should. So let's cream bronze tonight. Let's just do um, some cream bronze. Let's use my Clinique Chubby Stick that I got. It is in a curvy contour, 01. So yeah, let's, uh, I, I'm not really going to contour. I'm just going to bronze in all the places that I would. Uh, with this, I mean, it's, it's so, it's quick and easy. So we'll do that. We'll use my little weird elf brush that works really well for blending out cream bronzer because it just does the motion of where you are on your face. I love it so much. So I'll just kind of push that bronze color up into the hairline and push this one on the cheek like, like so. Uh, speaking of hairline, a lot of people ask me what I, a lot of people, you know, they're in my life, not like here on YouTube, but I a few people have asked me what, how I do my hair and do I color my hair myself and things like that. Um, so I do not lighten my hair myself. Uh, so my hair is naturally a brown and, a, a medium brown, I would say. And so... I have had it professionally lightened and the last time I think I had it professionally lightened was February of this year. And for those of you not watching in real time, tis October. But being that it is 2020, I have not been back to my colorist here in my town. And so I will be waiting until we do that. But I'm using, currently using Overtone to put on color, to put color on <laughs> my hair. So uh, that is the color that you're seeing. It is over previously lightened hair, but lightened hair in February. I've used no color remover. Since then, I have only added color on. And I use Overtone. We can talk about my hair. If you have questions, please ask, because I would love to answer those questions about my hair. So anyway let's use it. Okay. So I think, I, I mean, I know this is light or whatever. I kind of want to go e like two. I'll do this maybe on the back of my cheek and this on the front. Let's, let's use two. I'm just going to use a little, this is an It Cosmetic little tiny, it's like foundation brush, but it's just a synthetic kind of dense brush. I'm going to tap into the color and to pick that up, I'm going to treat it like any other cream blush and I'm going to stamp it onto my cheek. And again, I'm going to do kind of half and half. There's the darkest color. Uh, this is, I'm going to build it up one more time. I'm going to do another layer to see if folks who are of a medium skin tone could get this to show up. I don't know. I mean, it it's pretty, but it looks like a regular kind of a little bit heavy handed blush that I would normally wear and that is the that's the the deepest shade I think this one is far more pigmented um I just I think I think that this might not be this might not be deep skin appropriate at all oh that one went on I'm using this pink uh that one went on with a little more punch onto the front of my cheek. We're gonna blend over it with my sponge to blend it out to make me look more like a normal human. But, Siate, you aren't listening because you don't. 
but I would love for you to listen. I love the collaboration of the idea of collaborating using Miss Piggy, doing Miss Piggy products. I love it. Just like I loved the idea of Jessica Rabbit. It's the ex execution that I am not pleased with. It's the inclusivity, not, and, and I don't, you got it. You've got to do better. If you had two palettes, let's say this is the light and then you had a medium deep palette or a medium palette and a deep palette. Little girls and boys of all shades of skin love the Muppets. Love Miss Piggy. Want to be Miss Piggy? Who doesn't want to be Miss Piggy? You got to do better. It's pretty. If you're a fair girl, even, you know, medium, that a medium tone person who does not like a, a super blushy look, this could probably work for you. It really could. I mean, it could. But if you are medium and like a good blush look, I don't think you're going to be able to get it with this. And I'm sorry. If you are deep skin tone, this is not going to work for you. Do better, Siate. The idea is just phenomenal. The packaging execution, phenomenal. This is, go this is gorgeous stuff. This is gorgeous stuff. This is gorgeous. Hand mirrors are something that you should, I mean, that, that's, it's unique. It's unique and it's gorgeous. I love the idea. Don't love the execution. Okay, brought down the room. Welcome to make up my womp. Okay, so let's do, <laughs> sorry. Let's do, I'm actually not sorry because I actually believe that and I think that makeup companies need to be held uh, accountable for the choices that they make. The end. All right, let me set real quick under my eyes. And then I'm gonna powder real quick. Uh, and then we will, I'm gonna do a quick eye look. I want. I pulled something I wanted to use and then we'll put on the lip balm. So excited. Um, I used my Wet and Wild Reserve Your Cabana bronzer, which is not a bronzer, to set under my eyes. And now I'm gonna real quick, do I actually wanna powder? I don't know if I wanna powder. It, everything seems to be dried down. This is not a sticky blush. This is not a tacky blush. It is a glowy blush. Look, those two are very glowy. That's pretty, but the, it's not tacky or sticky. It's not, I'm not wet. And that foundation, it sure dried the ding dong down. Go ahead, Estee Lauder. I don't think I'm gonna powder. Who am I? Let's do our brows. Let's do those real quick. Oh, let me brush them out. Heavens to Betsy. Did a video earlier this week where I got ready pretty quickly to go vote. And so let me update you about the voting situation in my town. So I told you Mr. Mugwump thought that he knew a place, a voting, uh, an, excuse me, an early voting place that would be uh, relatively uncrowded. And he was right. Who knew? We went to an Arboretum, which is a county building that does early voting in my town. And here's the cool thing. So you, you walk in and you are, of course, inundated with all the flyers of all the people who want to hand you something. And because you are a nice person, you accept them, <clears throat> knowing full well you are not going to read them because you've already done your research or made up your mind or you already know what you're going to do. <clears throat> but you still take them because they're nice people, usually older people, and you want to be polite to them because they are your elders. So you do. And <laughs> you go in the door, <coughs> pardon, and right strategically placed right next to the door is a recycling bin. So out of the sight of the lovely old people outside, you recycle their flyers along with everyone else who's walked in because the recycling bin is full of flyers. <laughs> Such a waste. Um, but you uh, you do that. Okay, while I'm telling you about voting, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you. It's Miss Piggy. It's Miss Piggy night. This is not a Miss Piggy product, but this is a Leanne likes to look like Miss Piggy. So she's gonna use a Miss Piggy eyeshadow if I've ever seen one. This is Slave to Pink by ColourPop. It is a Super Shock 
pressed pigment. It is not for the eye area. Okay. This is not for the eye area. Don't use it on your eye. Don't. Anyway, so you walk in and you dump your, your flyers and uh, you wait. You, they have X's on the floor to wait six feet apart from people in front of you who are waiting in line. There were only a few people ahead of us. In the doorway, the lovely volunteer tells you that there is hand sanitizer, giant hand sanitizer pump, and hands you a pen, a ballpoint pen that thanks you for voting in the county you live in. It thanks you for voting. And the way that he hands it to you is he picks up each pen. It is individually wrapped. And he pulls down the wrapping so that when you take it, you're only touching the pen. He has not touched the pen. You are not touching him. And uh, it is a clean exchange with the, the lovely volunteer man in his pink polo shirt that I'm sure his lovely senior citizen wife bought him at the front of the voting auditorium. And... I head over to the first available booth. I'm asked for my name. I'm asked to confirm my address. And when I do so, a form is printed out. I was not asked for my ID. I was not asked for my voter registration card, which I was holding in my hand and also with my pen, my cleanly sanitized hands. And so I quickly stuffed those in my bag and went to sign my form with my new pen, which is the purpose of the pen is so that you are not sharing a pen with anyone else who has voted before you nor after you take your form to the next set of booths, start at the beginning, hand it to the lovely lady. She does her thing, looks it up in the notebook, does her thing, goes down the line. The last lovely lady tells you that the, boat is, the, the ballot is double-sided to please fill out both sides and that uh, thank you for voting. So you take your ballot over to a chest height table on the most ricketyest legs that you've ever seen in your life and you proceed to vote the way that your conscience directs you to i don't know what i should do black would she wear black eyeliner pretty sure she would um uh, anyway i'll do that anyway so you vote on both sides of your ballot filling in the circles completely and if you're neurotic and obsessive and also very concerned with the outcome of this election you probably take a long time filling in the circles because you want to make sure dang sure that your vote is counted because you need it to be so you do that that was the right choice by the way the eyeliner was the right choice. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> so once you are finished filling in your ballot, you take it to the back of the room near where the door is, where you entered, and you put it into a machine. Sort of looks a little bit like a, like a copier machine, you know? And you put it in between the little feeder thing and you stand there while it it reads your ballot where it makes sure that you know your choices are all entered and and it's you know it's valid you haven't you know done anything that marked a stray mark or something that would cause your ballot not to be your vote not to be counted mm. Stop. 
anyway <clears throat> and then you put your valid in there and it goes beep, beep, and then you take your pen because it's yours to keep and you walk out of the auditorium and again in my town i'm at the arboretum so the husband says you want to walk around the gardens and we're wearing masks by the way and everyone was wearing masks all of the workers were wearing masks and that was i'm pleased with that because there were reports uh, of folks that I know here locally of other you know, people in line, people voting, not wearing masks. And that was very disappointed. That was really disappointing. So anyway, we go outside and uh, we walk through the gardens. We can take off our masks because we are the only human beings who are walking through, literally, through the gardens at the Arboretum and we stop and we read all the little signs about what kind of tree or what kind of shrub it is. We'll, they have a little herb garden, they have a little vegetable garden, they have a children's garden and we walk through reading all the things about the plants. What a great morning! It was perfect. I have never, I did not know that this place existed. I didn't know that my town even had one of these places and I'm so glad that we went. Like, I never would have done that without like, you know, a reason. So it was fabulous. I'm so glad. Okay, let me do real quick mascara and then we will try on the lip balm and see how that tastes. So how do y'all like that Slave to Pink shadow? Is that not a Miss Piggy shadow or what? If you have not purchased it, it's, it is, your ColourPop shadows are great uh, because you, you don't have to commit to like a whole palette. They're inexpensive and they have amazing finishes. Just stunning. So Slave to Pink was a shade that I believe Kathleen Lights uh, mentioned. And I I think she did a swatch of it. Here, let me swatch it. Uh, she did a swatch of it and I was just in love. And I was like, that is a shade that I need in my life. Um, I mean, just, come on. I mean, come on. Like, who doesn't? There's like a blue glitter reflect beautifulness. That is, it's gorgeous. It's it's Miss Piggy. That's a Miss Piggy shadow. If you love her, also pick up Slave to Pink. <laughs> so anyway, um, let's try on the lip balm. This is, again, this is called Love Moi. And they do have a lipstick. But I don't really wear pink lipsticks. And so I, it would be a waste on me. But a lip balm would not. Because I'll use it. You know, there's not much color. Mm -mm. There's not much color, but it's a nice balm. It's you know, it's it's pretty sheer. Let's let's mark that. Oh gosh, it's very sheer. It's there. It's not very it's not very pigmented, but. I mean, it's lovely. I'll use the balm. Like, I will absolutely use the balm for sure. Because I like it. But, nope. It's not the right color. I found it. <laughs> so, the, I mean, the lip balm is nice. It's a very light pink. But it's not enough. How about uh, a discontinued product, which is probably old and don't use it? Well, smells fine. <laughs> Welcome to Makeup Mugwump, where we use old crap and it, we love it. Patent pink lip polish, I think. No, patent polish lip pencil from MAC. That's it. Still creamy as a dab. Bought it 14 years ago. Yeah, that's it. That's the pink right there. That's it. <laughs> Do you need the Ciate Miss Piggy collection? I love the mirror. I think that anyone who loves Miss Piggy, this is a perfect 
perfect item. Fits everyone, perfect. It's well made, not too big, not too small. Good mirror, adore, adorable product. Never goes bad if you have a big collection or a small collection, would make a great gift for some things, really. This is the standout for me tonight. I love this so much. Um, I do want to try the eyeshadow palette when it comes out or if it's come out when I can get a hold of it. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but I love, I love uh, the idea of that. I'd like to see it. There are some pinks in it, but there also seems to be a little bit of a neutral uh, bit too. So that's lovely. I love the idea of this. I love the packaging of this. I think having a cream face palette is smart because it is a little bit unusual. It's not a usual release for a brand to do a cream face palette. I will use this. I will use every bit of this and I will enjoy using it because I have the skin tone that allows for this to show up. And so I will use it. I think it dries down beautifully. I think it's just, I'm stained, not eye safe. Look, I got pink eye all weekend long. Anyway, love love the idea of this. Really, Ciate, great job on the idea. Fantastic job on the packaging. I've already said what I got to say. Do better. Do better. This is cute. I will use this. I will use this slam up. I will use it, you know, before I do my makeup, I'll put it on. And then I'll have a lovely, luxurious moi moment of using that this I will use is what well. it's disgusting I'm sorry this is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life this is just perfect you can buy the sponge separately you can buy all the items separately I bought the three in a bundle and then the, the mirror separately so go to the Seattle London website take a look at the items that are there and uh if are you going to pick anything up are you do you want any of this this I know that they disappointed a lot of people with their Jessica Rabbit release. I understand. I didn't buy any of that because I was kind of waiting and seeing how, how it turned out. I saw the disappointment and I was a little nervous for this collection. I think, I think it performed just fine for me, but I strategically picked the items that I know that I would get use out of. So, uh, thank you so much for joining me and, um, <clears throat> If you like things like this, you have come to the right place. <laughs> welcome. Uh, you are more than welcome to stay Stay around. Check out the other eyeshadow looks I do on my channel. Truly. I have a lot of videos that are up. Please check them out. Uh, if you liked this video, please hit the thumbs up button. It really helps me out. And also think about subscribing if you want to see more videos from me. Uh, I would be more than happy for you to stick around. Uh, let me know. Are you going to pick up anything? Who's your favorite Muppet? Let me do down below in the comments. Y'all have a great rest of your night. Bye.